fuck the woman's shit but fall to herself. I was like, what? That's the live shit, like. Fuck out of here. I said, yeah, that's how I'm approach shit like that, bro. And, and and it was like niggas talked about it before. Niggas talked about the CLO staff shit in their songs before before I ever even did the song. You know what I'm saying? Niggas was riding the wave. Niggas was riding the wave already. It was like my niggas, cause my niggas knew. When I came through, yo, what up? What's good? Niggas like, yo, nigga like, yo, still, I'm over here. You know what I'm saying? I'm over here. I'm doing that. I'm doing like, yo, this. Be alone. I'm over here. Be alone. Like, 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 I was like, never regarded like, like that. I was never regarded in, in my neighborhood like a nice rapping nigga or nothing or, or nigga. Niggas didn't even know I rap. How you got on the How you sliding in these guys? Look, I got like, 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 all right, to the like to the world and shit. It, it'd be like, yo, I got on from a little kid. A little kid, actually, a little, a little, one of, one of my little mans was in the back of the building, Ooh. yeah, he probably, nigga, why a million, nigga? Oh. Fuck you talking about, oh. nigga? I'm just saying it for, like, oh. for more fucking oh. that oh. don't know, you know what I'm saying? The nigga drape the wild, like, yo, why nigga, they never understand that why, when we was older, when he was older, why I made him fuck with each other, but it was based off of that. For me, I used to walk that nigga to school, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, like, because, that family, his family adopted me once upon a time, so I was living up there. That was one of my little jobs in the house. I had to walk Dre and Donnie to school, mm-hmm. nigga. Holy hands across the street and all that. But anyway, getting back to how I got on, how I got on that shit, because, like, this was not doing what was to Cal, but to Cal was really a second album because they had recorded an album for Rizzo Basement got flooded. So the nigga Meth had some shit like three weeks to do a whole album. Like back then, like, you know what I'm saying? I don't know how estimates or whatever, but he had like three weeks to do the shit. So I'm just coming off a of Rikers Island, boom. I just did it like, a, like, I just did it like a bullet or whatever, whatever, boom. So I'm coming through the back and I hear Meth. I hear music and shit, there's nobody back in the building, so I look, and I see the nigga Dre, and so this nigga gotta be like 9, 10 years old, man, you know what I'm saying, sitting with the radio, he got tape, so I'm old, but I'm like, yo, who that fat and shit, he like, he upstairs, I'm like, yo, let me get that tape, the nigga's like, nah, and he get up, like, 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 he gonna fight me and shit, you know what I'm saying, the old nigga, he like, gonna get up, he like, gonna fight me, he like, he like, nah, I'm not too new, get this shit, nobody, ha, uh, ha, uh. So you know, I'm like, smack him in the head and shit. You took the radio, you know what I'm saying, took the tape. Bad. I said, yo, tell him nigga Meth I got this shit. Tell him nigga I'm up here. You know what I'm saying? Come get it. So I went I went home. Yo, that morning, that nigga was at my door. Bang, bang, bang. Like it was like four songs on the tape for the album and shit. Nobody it was his only copy, nobody had it shit. So the nigga came and got this shit. So we just kicked it and shit for him and he was like, yo, just come with me. And that's then it was just like that. Like I used to just go to the studio. Like niggas used to just be like, "Yo, I don't want you getting no trouble. I don't want you getting nothing." Like fuck all that. So I go. We we at a Chunk K studio and shit down with Canal Street. I remember it then and shit. So you know, I started getting a feel for what he was doing then as I was going there. Like in them three weeks, cause it was like I go up in there, you over Chunk K. It's like the real niggas recorded up in there. You know, LL and fucking. Run DMC, like, 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 real niggas got they plaques. I've never seen them shit like that. I've never even been in a record label office or none of that shit. Mm-hmm. So, we, we up there and shit, and I think it was, it was a night, it was a day I was in, I came, and Meth wasn't there, and Lauren Hill was in the studio, and she was still in college and shit. Like, she was doing her homework when I came in like that. She was doing her homework. I came in, I just introduced myself. She was like, you know, it wasn't even nobody in there with her. But it was somebody there with her, but that's even in that time. So, the beat was up. She was she was doing her homework, trying to write for the beat, whatever the nigga mess came later. So, I wrote the PLO staff shit while I was waiting. Really nice party, yeah, right. Just really, like... Not, I like, 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 because I wasn't even trying to holler out, you know what I'm saying? Like, as it was all respectful, but at the same time, I wanted to, I, I didn't just want to be a nigga just sitting up in there and not doing nothing. So it was like, looking at her doing what she was doing, that's how I, you know what I mean? How I started just doodling and fucking around. And so, in the midst of all of that, the nigga mess came and shit, they, they recorded, they shit, whatever, they, and that the shit never got released or whatever, the song and shit. So, then... Fucking um. Get that shit. Pull out the whole 
Nah, I smoke the nigga home, the nigga came into the show, right? And the nigga seen the pad, you know what I'm saying? And the nigga was like, yo, you ain't writing? The nigga was like, yo, the nigga's laughing at me, you know, like, like, yo, you ain't writing? You see this shit? Yo, this is my word. The nigga, the nigga read this shit, you know what I'm like? And he was like, yo, I like this shit. I'm like, yo, get the fuck out of here. He's like, yo, let's, come on. And we did this shit, so we did this shit or whatever. I ain't know nothing. Like, I ain't know, I ain't know where the ball was. I ain't, yo, come on, nigga. I ain't know, I ain't know. Nigga said, I, I did this shit. I did this shit quick, too. Like, I did this shit probably, like, in three takes. Like, you know what I mean? You read through the shit. And nigga's like, all right, double your part. I don't know what the fuck this nigga was talking about. My nigga, like, I'm like, all right, nigga, play it. You know what I'm saying? I'm just... I just do the whole verse over. I do the whole shit over. Like niggas, like yo, nah, nigga. Yeah. So everybody, niggas start, you know, niggas start educating me on this shit. But even that, so it was like I did, I did the PLO style shit and the Mr. Sandman shit in like two days. Like the next day, we did that. So I'm like, come on, man. I'm in the studio with this nigga, Dak, Rizzo, there. You know what I'm saying? Matt, they 